So just before you go inside the uh, RV, we have a uh, sliding step. And then as soon as you come in, this is almost standard for a lot of the uh, RVs, is you have the, uh, the batteries. These are brand new batteries. I just bought all three of them. And uh, you can see ground. So it gets good ventilation. As soon as you step in right here, I have um, some switches. And the switches are going to be for the floor lights, the ceiling lights, and then the porch light. I also have uh, some electricity so that I can put some of my uh, like blenders and toasters and things like that. As soon as you come in, I have um, the guy who I purchased it from. Basically, he did some modifications uh, for his own style. And what he did was he made this into his road office. So he basically has been traveling since like the 1980s. And uh, so he made this table more to hold his computer. And he took out the bench with the, uh, the seat, uh, kind of like that dinette. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm not going to be changing anything at this time. So I am using the entrance part as right behind the driver's seat. I'm using I'm using it to hold all of my shoes. Um, I still have a couple of more shoes in the house. So I haven't moved everything in yet. And then I just brought in the chest just to have a little bit more um, place to put product in. This is the uh, refrigerator. It actually has a light. I just don't have a bulb in the light right now. And then it has uh, two doors. Pretty deep. And then on the door, it's got uh, two shelvings. Actually, it has three shelvings. And then the refrigerator. Pretty big room in the refrigerator. I'll put my hand. Can you see how big it is? So it's pretty big. And then just one on the drawer. And then I also have a light right over the refrigerator, so that's going to help. Um, so, oh, and then here in the bedrooms, I have three cabinets. So these guys do have hinges on them. So, so there's actually uh, three cabinets. I definitely have plenty of room. I have the uh, cable from the outside. So when I go to the RV parks, I can... Um, attach the cable if I if I wanted to and then also have a little swinging table that will hold a television or my laptop and then I also have uh, some electric outlets so I have a curtain for privacy but that's pretty much the only thing that really takes um, room under the bed and I like I said I have definitely and then right under that it goes right into the tub and um, I have the tub over here, the shower. Shower isn't very big, but I'm only five foot five, and you know it's plenty of space for me. Um, there's really no complaint. And then it also comes with a little shower, and then I have the uh, fantastic fan. And then there's also like a, a mirror cabinet. And this one doesn't also have a um, something to hold it, so I'm also going to put a little hinges on that also. And then there's also over here a medicine cabinet. And then there's a bungee cord up here. There's plenty of room, you know, on the walls for me to just keep adding stuff if I wanted to. But for right now, I'm just happy for, for what it is. I, I plan to paint it. It does come with a toilet. The toilet's right next to the shower. So it's not a uh, inside the, the shower, which is great. And uh, I am thinking about going maybe compost. Um, not getting a, like a compost, like you pay $900, $700 toilet. But uh, probably just do more like a, a bucket in the box. And um, let's see. also have a sink. Cabinets under the sink. And then on this side, I have the uh, plenty of room in my closet. 
for clothes. It already comes with two drawers, so there's actually a light. And it comes with cabinets. Oh. Sorry for the shaking. And I just started moving in. I said my trip goes off in uh, January. And, uh, and then, you know, enough room. I have, um, I got these things from uh, Walmart. I was in the military, so I do military roles. Yeah, for all my clothes. I think the socks. So these are going to basically be my drawers. And I got two more in the house. And once I, I paint the, the inside of the RV, I will show you guys the finished project. And then I also have here is my fuse box. I think there's a lot of dead room down here, to be honest with you. Um, I have the little cubby right now open. All this is, I don't have too much light in here, but basically all this is, is just a, a cubby hole. And it has the lines, the water lines. And because we're in uh, New England, I didn't want my lines to freeze. So right now I just have it airing and I also have it popped um, open, it drained, and I closed it. But what I'm doing is letting the air flow so the lines don't freeze. And I have the same thing going on down here. So I actually have the covers for it, um, but I'm just letting the, the air flow. So going back to the kitchen over here, you got a two burner. And you have a small mm -hmm. sink. Right here you have the, um, the batteries. You can see the batteries are still good. Holding tanks one and two. Water. That is my LP. I have a water pump. You can hear that it runs. I also have a light down here. So when I'm cooking, and it's got a fan. And then up here is a cabinet. I've got two cabinets right above the uh, kitchen area. And then on this side, I actually have a two-person bed right above the uh, the driver's side and the uh, passenger side. And then on this side, I have three cabinets. I have a huge bay window. As you remember before, I have the, uh, the chair. And then right under the uh, sink, I have two more cabinets with shelving. Sorry about the lighting. I'm still using a uh, iPhone, trying to get a camera with the uh, videos just a little bit easier. And then you have in the front, you have the uh, dashboard. I have a great, um, let's see if I can get some light in here. I have an AM FM radio with cassette, priceless. And then I have a, a level uh, for my right and left. And then up here, we have the uh, panel for the driver. So it comes with a, uh, a vacuum pressure, uh, batteries. It does have AC and it does have um, heat and they both work. That's going to be for my batteries so I don't drain out my batteries. That is to let me know if my brakes go, so as soon as I turn on my car, the lights will turn on if my brakes are not working, as well as if I'm driving, it gives me a, a fair warning. And my dashboard goes up to 85, and my mileage is 69,894. I've driven the uh, A-Class now about seven times or so, so still really getting used to it. And then... There is no door for the passenger, uh, but I do have a door for the driver's side. I plan to get rid of the uh, curtains. 
Uh, I'm planning to get blackout curtains. All the curtains are going to be changed. So guys, that's a wrap-up of the inside of the uh, RV. Hope you guys liked it.